What's up, you guys? I am back in the kitchen. Actually, my first time cooking in this kitchen. And you guys know that my family means so much to me. So today, I thought that my first meal should be attempting to prepare my mother's signature dish, arroz con pollo, and make that for my family and actually have her help me out. So I've got the recipe right here. Wow, there's nothing on this paper. Girl, use your senses, your nose, sense of taste and memory. You can do this. This is not what I signed up for. Wait, a, okay, so y'all playing games now. What? Okay, so this is what's actually going on. My family has been low-key making fun of me, saying that I can only cook with like pre-packaged uh, recipes and all that kind of stuff. And I've been low-key bragging that your girl can cook, cause she can. So the challenge today is for me to make this amazing recipe, arroz con pollo, without an actual recipe. So I've gotta just figure it out on my own. This should be interesting. So today, uh, Adrian is going to be attempting to make arroz con pollo. Um, this was my mom's, one of her staple um, recipes. We have it for all kinds of occasion. We'll have it on a Tuesday night. It's just a staple. I don't think that she's ever done this before, so this is gonna be interesting. I think she'll do well. When we were living in LA during the pandemic, her and her mother used to cook every Sunday. I think she retained pretty well what, uh, what she learned. I think it's gonna be tasty, even if it's got some weird things in it. I think it'll be good. So the first tip thing I, would, I do is, I put a little oil in the pot. I hope she remembers that. I put the onions, I put my jicam, I put my garlic, tomato sauce, all in the pot with two or three tablespoons of oil. I then put in my color. Then I add in my chicken. Cover it at a very low flame so that it cooks. When it's almost ready, I then add my rice, my olives. I add salt for uh, the taste. Some people like le more salt, some people like less salt. That's up to you, it's a taste thing. And then I let it come down a little, I stir it, and when it's almost gone, the water, then I bring down the flame and I cover it and let it cook. I see ingredients here that don't make a lot of sense to this recipe, though. Which ones? Uh, I see Old Bay. I don't think that belongs in arroz con pollo, but I see the sazon, so that's like a dead giveaway that this is for that. You don't need this. You can make this natural without all the added um, ingredients, okay? You can use this in place of this here. Or you can do the old-fashioned way, how my mom used to do it. She would get a frying pan, and she had a little frying pan just for this. And she would use oil, put it in there, drop a couple of these, maybe like 10 or 12 of these, and let that oil become the color. Because that's what it's used for, just for color. For one thing, I don't think white cooking wine goes into arroz con pollo. I could be mistaken because I myself don't know how to make it. <laughs> Between you and I, A, I love you, but A and I, we're both heavy handed on the salt. We'll see, we'll see. I'm trying to figure out why there's two sets of rice. Yeah, I, d I don't understand that either. So normally, we use regular medium grain rice, which is here, but we're gonna trick her and we have some pre-boiled rice here. Let's see if she knows the difference. I have a feeling that the, the rice is gonna be very hard. So that's like what I'm thinking is gonna happen. The rice is probably gonna be hard and it may be a little too salty. And then I don't think she's gonna know what to do with a lot of this stuff. This should be interesting. I don't think it's gonna taste like mommy's though. We shall see. Okay, so clearly this is going a little differently than I planned. I legit thought my mom was here and that we were going to be learning together how to cook arroz con pollo. But no, instead they're here to clown me. They are here to test 
my cooking skills and see if I can pull this together. The good thing is it's gonna taste bomb regardless. It, it's gonna be an amazing meal. The problem is it is not going to be arroz con pollo, or at least not the way they remember it or the way I remember it. They probably gonna end up with some curry something. I'm a little concerned. No, we don't even have curry here. But I can assure you that it's still gonna taste bomb. I have never made arroz con pollo by myself. I've been slightly helpful at times in the kitchen. That might be a lie. If my mom is around, I suddenly become like, I can't, I can't function. Anybody else like that? Comment below if when your mom comes over your house, you suddenly cannot do your normal daily functions. It's like she just takes over and you're like, I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh, there's so much laundry here. Oh, I'm just so overwhelmed. My house is in disarray. Somehow my mom comes and it's like magic, okay? Moms are magical human beings and I love you all very much. You make the world go round, literally. While I'd like to think that at some point I've been helpful in helping my mom put together this meal, I absolutely have not been. I've probably been scrolling on Instagram, watching TV, reading a book, minding my business while my mom has been chefing it up and making amazing meals for us. I have no clue how to make this. Like not a clue, I actually think there might be some boiling of the chicken or like stewing it of some sort. Do you, why did you just do that? I just said boiling of the chicken and my mom goes like this. Is it not boiled? Oh, she can't help me. I believe that there is a stewing of the chicken that will be put over some white rice. What the flavor palette will be of that chicken, we will find out. I know what this is, I don't know what it does. I think this gives color. I could be wrong because there's also sasong here and sasong gives that orange color as well. I don't remember there being onions. I do believe there are olives, I do believe that, what is this, is this recaito or recao? I believe this is definitely in it. No, we don't use this. Why do I feel like there's definitely not wine? Basil leaves, whoa. They're trying to fool me, so there actually are ingredients here that do not need to be used in this recipe at all. They're intended to fool me, sabotage my meal situation. But I will not be gotten, no ma'am. So I'm gonna actually remove, I'm gonna eliminate basil. I'm, el I'm eliminating Old Bay seasoning. We definitely gonna use some pepper. We're definitely using garlic. Absolutely not. This is absolutely not in this lemon, no ma'am. I don't think onions are in the mix. We are ex that. Wine, are we putting wine in this? Maybe there's a splash. I'm gonna hold on to it just because I feel like that would make this feel like an elevated meal with a splash of wine. All right, I feel like I'm ready. I feel like, am I allowed to use a rice cooker? No rice cooker? Why are there two different types of rice? Am I supposed to use both or one? Is there a difference between these two rices? When I saw that, I said, she's not gonna know which one to use. Okay, I feel like that's brown rice and I feel like this is white rice. So this is what I'm moving forward with. Well, she's thrown by the two rices. Yeah, she's not gonna know. What Ma, to do what rice should rice. she be using? The one that's not yellow. Oh God, please, not the pre-boiled. Oh my gosh, she took the right one. She oh, did the right one. Wow. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. <laughs> and she's washing it. Oh, I would not have washed the rice. I, I don't understand why she's washing that rice in that pot. The problem is, do I have a strainer? I think that's exactly <laughs> what's happening right now. She can't figure that out. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna do it. You can't do what? She's putting the pot in, with the rice in, on, on the stove. You're not supposed to? So here we go. I'm improvising and I'm seeing what happens. What is she doing? I don't She's putting water in there now. Oh. <laughs> What the hell is she doing? I don't There's know. no way. Mommy, I know that that's not how you start that. From there, I'm gonna add some oil because I just feel like, why not? So I'm adding some oil to this rice. She's putting rice and then oil? When should the chicken go in first? Mommy, she's, oh, making, oh, mommy, she's making greasy rice. <laughs> I'm gonna let this do a little something while I marinate my chicken. We have to eat this? <laughs> Okay, I feel that I'm supposed to 
season my chicken. But it's already seasoned. You seasoned it? Yeah. Oh, it's kind of, it's already somewhat been seasoned. So she knows, you see, good girl. I don't know, but I'm about to double season just in case. Oh my God, Jesus. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. But when I tell you it's gonna taste good, that's the important part, right? Fantastic. She's magic, y'all. <laughs> the fact that they're plotting on me, you know, my mom raised me to... <laughs> Israel, what's funny? Oh my gosh, she added more. What, what did I do? Watching you? your mother she... is funny. Hey, my mother raised me to prove people wrong. I tell you. <laughs> I'm like that too, I'm heavy this on the salt, but she's on another level. Bomb, bro. I don't know what kind of chicken she's making. Okay, wait. What is that? I don't she's know. What is that? She has in her hand. Is that lemon pepper? I don't know why that plastic was not moving, but there we are. No. I, did she, oh, that's regular pepper. I feel like what this is. Let me smell oh this again. Oh my God. No, oh. that ain't it. I don't know what this is, but that, that's I not it. Oh. That yeah. smells wrong. <gasps> Oh, uh, hello. More salt. Oh Yo. <laughs> I cannot. I feel smell. There's something back here that my mom already made, but I actually don't know what it is. Let me smell this. Is that beans? Okay, these are the beans. I made beans to go with that or con, con pollo. We've got, there's some rice cooking, okay? Um, it's actually not very wet, so for some reason in my mind, I feel like I'm supposed to add this other stuff in here. I think that there's enough salt going on right uh, now. Yeah, please yeah. don't put any but salt. It, but it, <laughs> I could be wrong because I feel like my rice is supposed to be a different color. So I am going to add this to my rice. She's adding garlic to white rice. We're gonna no. need prayer for mommy after this. So I'm gonna add some more water to this and some more oil. You're gonna have some fried rice. Might as well add an egg while you're at it <laughs> with some soy sauce. <laughs> more oil. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Thank you, I know. Now we're going to add some of this paste. I don't know what it is, but it's gonna be good. But I'm not gonna add that much. I'm gonna add half of what it is. And I feel like this is gonna give us some color, okay? We're gonna start getting some color up in here. This is turning my rice a color. I'm so good. She hasn't put the heck out. She hasn't put the onions. Oh my God. That's what you're supposed to start with, right? Mm? You're supposed to start Where's with that. I feel like I need another pot. Okay, this is gonna be on medium. And I am going to put some oil in this pan. I wanna do my egg wash with and this flour. <laughs> <laughs> she go oh. fried chicken. I'm going to create a marinade of some sort with a little bit of this. This is tomato sauce. The other one I believe was tomato paste. This is tomato sauce. Okay, we're gonna put this. I feel like the garlic was definitely supposed to go in here as well, but whatever it is. What do you think she's gonna do with the frying pan? It, it seems like she's gonna fry this chicken. I don't think this is correct, but I don't care. We're doing things my way over here and it's gonna be amazing. And ultimately, as long as no one dies from salmonella poisoning, it's a win. The, the, the not dying part, I'm definitely with that. I think that's key. I just feel like if I'm going wrong, I'm gonna go all the way wrong. I don't believe this has onions, but why not, right? Why not? We've got olives. Why not? Was she putting in there olives? Mm -hmm. Did you normally put olives? Yes, oh. but it's in the yeah. rice, not in the... Then I'll add the wine later because I just feel like that's gonna make it elevated. And I'm just gonna adobo the situation. Oh my God. Here we go. Once this starts like bubbling up, that's like a very culinary term. When it starts bubbling and popping, that's when we're gonna add the chicken. She really thinks she knows what she's, she's gonna doing. Make fried chicken for real. <laughs> you hear that? That's the culinary term bubbling. It's bubbling. 
it's a sizzle. Once I feel like the chicken is fully cooked, then I'm going to add it into my rice. So that's basically backwards, right? Mm -hmm. okay. I feel like I need more, more stuff. So I'm gonna add more oil. A little bit more. <gasps> oh my God, that's some oily rice. Cause why not? Don't forget the barbecue sauce. <laughs> Let's just go for all of it, okay? If you have acid in your stomach, she goes <laughs> mess you up with all that. If it's gonna be wrong, I'm just gonna go wrong all the way, but it's gonna taste amazing. So now we're just gonna let this cook our chicken all the way through. On the next All Things Adrian, Mama Nilda will be making us a right. <laughs> okay, there's some rice cooking there. I think that needs more time. She's so pretty though, guys. She what? is. That makes up for a lot. <laughs> We're adding the wine to this. Let's see what happens. Yo, it smells bomb. I feel like good things are happening in here. It's time for some adobo. <laughs> I see. <laughs> oh. is, I hope she doesn't use the sasson and I hope she doesn't use the adobo. No lie, when I saw sasson, I was like, my mother doesn't use this. I feel like the sasson should definitely go in my rice. She's about to add it. She's There's adding no sasson. way. Watch. We are now going to flip the chicken because I feel like it's browning. Now I will flip it over, catch more of that flavor. Flip it and catch it. That's what we're calling this right here. This technique is called flip and catch. So you see, I flipped it. <laughs> Catch the seasoning, right? See this right here? We flipping it, we catching the seasoning. They teach this in France. That's a lie. It's just gonna simmer. Check on, on your rice. rice. What's happening over here? Okay, some of that is being absorbed. I feel that, that's what's supposed to happen. And now I think I would like to add... More salt. <laughs> Okay, it's not completely there, but we're on our way. The problem is this rice don't taste like nothing. So let me add some of this to my rice. Oh my God, what is she doing? The question is, should I add that to this at this point? Just put the beans, the rice, oh the God. oil in my one bowl. This is awesome. By the way, I'm 100% sure that my mom cooks all of this in one pot because I've seen it done multiple times. I just, I was afraid that I would salmonella the situation so I needed to make sure that my chicken was fully cooked. So I'm sure that that is an amateur move but that's what I felt safe doing so that I wouldn't kill anyone. Again, Thank no you. death is a great place to start. That should be the bedrock of our, I think so. of our tasting. Try no one's to going to die better. today. You know what, I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna add it, I'm just gonna do it. No fear. But the comedy is that she's doing this whole thing with the one fork. Hey! <gasps> she traded, okay. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's happening here. Not bad, okay. What's going on back here? Should I add the beans? Please don't add the beans in there. I'm not even sure if what I'm making is arroz con pollo. I'm pretty sure, I, I don't know what I made. I made pollo a la France. Not sure if I've ever seen my mother put the beans in the right, I, I really don't know. Don't do it, don't do it. Please don't put the beans in there. I feel like I should add more water. When all goes wrong, just add a little bit more water. Add add water. A little bit of rice, a little bit of that right there. I'm gonna let that sit. Okay, I feel like my rice is done. Now I'm gonna get in here and try to separate this chicken. Tastes bomb. The beans are really salty. I think they're supposed to go in this mixture. What? The she put the beans in the rice. All right, so let's see what happens now. Y'all ready to eat this? Oh 
we can have really, really keep it real with her. Like, I'll yes. be really, really, really going to tell her. Absolutely, I'm going to keep it real with her. Mm. Mm. Come on, Mommy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I wish you luck. We should pray twice. Oh, my God. Yes. Let's pray. Just be honest, it's really good. And if they try to hate on me, they're just being haters. I did it wrong, but it's going to taste good. So go ahead. You told me to improvise when I was younger. Are you not gonna taste it? I am afraid. This one's yours, this has olives. This doesn't have olives. Oh. Which one's mine? Eat it before it gets cold. Which one's mine, baby? It actually tastes good. The presentation is not it's, what I... Thought. I know, because I didn't have, so I would like to have... But may I ask Funny you a enough, question? What? This is bomb. It yeah. tastes very good. There are some crunchy pieces, but That's I'm not bad with it. Thing. Um, this does not taste like arroz con pollo. However, it's not bad. It tastes good. Babe. Yeah. I'm not, okay. So. Yes, I'm biased, but this is bomb. Yeah, it's not. It's good, but it's, I honestly have no idea how you ended up with this, with what you did. I put some stuff there that I really did not want her to use. Like what? White wine. White wine like, vinegar. White, white vinegar, like oh, no, sazon. That's the reason why she we had the salt and pepper. The salt. What's this? The garlic the, and the pepper so I can make my own. Yes, mm -hmm. like I taught you to do. And, and then instead of this. the sazon, you use the sachote thing. Right, it's right here in the powder that I put it for the about, color. Guys. It, it was surprisingly good. On a scale from one to 10, is this supposed to be arroz con pollo? I, I don't even know, like a five. But on flavor, I give it a nine. It was really good. Across the board, I'm giving it a nine. And here's why. Because I'm not <laughs> because Puerto Rican. Because she doesn't want to sit on the couch. <laughs> I, 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 exactly. I want to be Puerto Rican so bad, but because I'm not, and it's not in my history like that. <laughs> you don't know the difference. I just know what tastes good and feels good. So I'm very texture yes, sensitive, I, I guess. Mm -hmm. So if it's great texture and great taste, like I told her, I'm glad she added the beans. Because it doesn't taste like arroz con, gan, con pollo. Water. Probably a three. <laughs> wow, tough. The color is too orangey. Mm -hmm. It should be yellow. But you know what? I give it to you. You, you took it and you went with it, you know. And even fearless though you didn't know people. what you were doing, but. Be fearless <laughs> in the kitchen. You never know what you'll end up creating. Yep. I feel like it's better to try than to just be that girl that's like, oh, I don't cook. Good job. Good you want to know the name you we came cook. up for this, oh, wait, for this dish? What? The chef has prepared for you to mm. flip and catch a salted chicken, um, which he's going to put on some crispy it's rice with some salted, salted beans. beans. Enjoy. On all things Adrian. <laughs> Sounds fantastic to me. Come back next week. Maybe I'll be cooking something else. You never know. Maybe this time I'll actually have a recipe. <laughs> Could be lovely. Mwah. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye. Can I have some water? <laughs>